Welcome to another Bitwig tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the sampler within Bitwig and we're going to add a one shot sample of a tom. It's uh, from my uh, old drum kit, a Linko drum kit. Um, we're going to adjust the starting position of the sample to avoid the gunshot effect. I'm going to show you what I mean with the gunshot effect. This is a sample where we are not adjusting the, the sample start position at all. So it's uh, repeatedly starting from the exact position in time within the sample. And that uh, makes it uh, quite annoying to listen to. It can be used with uh, as an effect, but uh, for this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can create a more dynamic instrument out of one single sample. Uh, so this is the gunshot effect and here we have a track where I've added some manipulation magic to make this sound more dynamic. You can hear that it has uh, that the tom has a softer sound in the beginning and it's uh, with a higher velocity we're getting to hear more of the impact of the sample. So how do we achieve this uh, within Bitwig? Well, for a start, if we add uh, a sampler and uh, drop the tom effect, it's going to sound like this. It's a flam, but we're going to adjust this so it sounds like a one-shot tom sample. You can see that if we try to make the velocity modulation affect the sample start position, it's not possible directly from within the sampler for, for some weird reason. Maybe I hope it will be added in a future update of Bitwig. So how do we get the workaround for this? Well, there is a modulator called the note modulator within Bitwig. And if we drag this to our track, and drag the sampler into the effect. You can see that we have a few parameters that we can modulate with the note modulator. If we press the velocity on the note modulator, you can see that we can adjust the starting position. Now it's working like this, that if we press soft on the keyboard, it's playing early in the sample and the harder we hit, it's going to play further into the sample. So to make this work, we need to adjust that a slow velocity will play further into the sample and a higher velocity will play more towards the impact of the sound. So if we have the setting like this, maybe increase the release so we can hear the more fullness of the, of the tom. Now we can hear that a slow velocity will give you a softer sound. And a higher velocity will give you more of the impact. So let's create a little loop here. Add some note events. Select those and add a increasing velocity curve like this. Let's see what happens. Oh. Now we're modulating the sample start position with the velocity. And if we would want to save this as a preset, you can just drag the note modulator to the browser like this. But I prefer to to store this within a effect chain. You have this under containers and chain. So you drag the chain onto the track and drag the note modulator into the chain like this. And the chain into your browser. And then select the name for this, maybe dynamic start position. Multi-effect. There you have it. I hope you found this useful. 
please check out my other videos and my SoundCloud. I also have a new album out called Amaterasu in Drama, which is uh, available on my Bandcamp site, which is matthiasholmgren.bandcamp.com. Okay, thanks for watching. Mm, will you break the spell? Are you tuning in now?